Well, hello there. How is everyone? I hope you're all well on this fabulous, fabulous... I want to say Tuesday. And I'm hoping I'm right. Because look, you know I'm not very good with days. But one thing I am good at is recognising when I'm staring at someone who is truly, truly amazing. And you are amazing. But let's get straight into the meat and potatoes. As I ask you a question, quite a simple question, or I think it's a simple question. And look, we have talked quite a lot about the Idaho 4 case and the potential for there being something nefarious going on. Whether there is people, law enforcement, doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing, whether this is a cover-up, whether we have Brian Koberger, who is a patsy, whether he is an absolute psychopath, who knows? The truth is that the way this case has played out means that all of these things are still on the table. And not one person could truly, truly say that they know what is happening 100%. And I certainly wouldn't be banking any money on what truly is happening in this case. Even for those people who are 100%, or they say they're 100% sure Brian Koberger did this crime, and anybody who argues that is stupid, I wonder how they would fare if they are asked to put their own family on the line. Stupid, I know, but what I'm getting at is that, you know, when you've got no skin in the game, it's easier to make a decision and say that that's how you really feel about something. It's not until you've truly got to put your put something at risk that we find out how big your balls really are. But look, there is another option, and it is that the way in which the prosecution are operating, the way law enforcement are operating, the way Moscow, Idaho are operating is just because that's how they have to operate. What if Brian Koberger is the person who did it? What if the fact of the matter is, is Brian Koberger is quite a clever guy? He was a clever guy. And the fact is, he done a crime in a manner with which he could have got away with. But maybe there was an eyewitness who saw him. Maybe there was someone who was able to tip off law enforcement. But, as famously said in Law Abiding Citizen by Jamie Foxx, it's not what you know, is what you can prove in court. So what if Moscow, Idaho have just done things to get the job done? What if they just planted a knife sheath because they needed a smoking gun? No pun intended. But they just needed something. And then they had to make everything fit to make Brian fit. And now the battle now is Brian Koberger perhaps knows he's guilty, knows he did it, but he knows that certain things that law enforcement have said are incorrect. Because the only person who would truly know how this crime truly went down is the person who did it. And if the person who did it is indeed Brian Koberger, and he knows that law enforcement have got certain things wrong, or they did things that they shouldn't have done in order to get him hooked, then there is a battle now. There is a battle, and it is all about technicalities. And is that why for Brian Koberger? Because when you look at the court documentation, Brian Koberger is balls deep in the situation. You know, this. a lot of people are saying, this is Ann Taylor's doing, this is Ann Taylor's doing, this is this, this. But he is involved. He is up to his neck in paperwork. Trust me, he is getting involved. And it just makes me wonder whether there are other options here. And look, we have to be fair. As much as we can turn around and say that things don't look right and the way in which they come across, like the eight-hour delays and things like this and, you know, changing stories and the cars and the knife sheath that just happened to be handed on a silver platter with a little bow, it just doesn't sit comfortably. But there are multiple variations of this story. There's multiple things that could have happened. There's multiple things that could really be going down in Moscow, Idaho. And I do wonder whether any of you have considered that, look, this is just law enforcement bending the rules to get the job done. And how you feel about it? How would you feel about it? Do you feel that if law enforcement know that someone did something, they absolutely know someone did something, but... The way with which they found that person, like maybe someone had a camera hidden in there that they shouldn't have had, keeping an eye on the pretty girls at the house. But you can't turn around and say that you had a camera in the house filming the pretty girls because that would raise questions. But said camera picked up Brian Koberger, and then you've got to sort of ascertain how you now get to where we are. 
going and you know, it could be shooting Brian. Let me know down below what you think. Again, this is just me spitballing. This is a spitballing video. I've been dealing with painting all day and dealing with dogs and cats and all sorts. Look. Look who we've got. This is what I've been putting up with. In it. He, he had something to say. You just didn't hear it because he talks at a frequency that is too high for the human ears to understand or hear. But anyway, let me know down below what you think. Is this Moscow, Idaho just doing what they need to do to get a bad man up against a wall? Or is it Moscow, Idaho doing stuff they shouldn't really be doing? Or is there something else? Catch you all in the next one, you amazing, amazing people.